so we we'll continue from where we ended okay so we, we, we mentioned that descriptive statistics are numbers that are used to summarize and describe data okay and then we said you can't generalize the beyond the data you have at hand okay it means you cannot infer if you are not doing inferential statistics you are just doing descriptive you just talk about your data your mean your variance you can't tell me that um, you found the mean salary of uh, the community as let's say 50,000 so you go about saying that when you go into the population that's your mean whilst you've not done any Test. You have not proved it. You've not done anything to prove or show anything. You just did a descriptive statistics. You cannot go beyond you just using the mean and then the median. You can't make inferences. Okay, all right. So this is a typical example. So yeah, you the person collected the data. He summarizes the data into this nines into this nines. Uh, data set okay all right yeah. so you can see that you have the total and then you have we have also professionals technicians like yeah it's, it does the summarization very well so it does want to look at the the earnings of people in the in Estonia salaries so we look at total all right so people who are less than 30 are having 5.0 30 and 39 says point that and that's what that okay so this another uh, data you have women and then men and then the minutes they, they run in the olympics okay olympic marathon so you want to find maybe the mean time the women used to run or the the, the mean time the men used to run you can also find that that is pure descriptive statistics so that, that is done here the average time for women the average time for men all right so from there women have been faster all right so you see pay that you can just see women have been faster but it's not proven you cannot certainly say that that is what is happening okay unless you do some further things okay all right so that is basically what is that so what we can conclude from this observation is that does this prove that fastest men are running faster now all right or is the difference just due to chance no more than what often emerges from chances chance differences in performance from year to year we can't answer this question with descriptive statistics alone so just having the figures there uh, seeing the women and men having the same mean or median uh, the same mean or median or some statistic we can't just say that um, uh, there's no difference in them all right men and women run the same or you see that the, the mean time for women uh, is higher than the mean time for men you just tell me that uh, for that matter uh, women uh, run faster than men it's, it's not true Okay, you can't say that unless you do an inferential statistics. So, what descriptive statistics, you don't have to commit yourself. Okay, just use what you have and then just stick to it. Don't do uh, generalize something, don't go beyond what you want, uh, your data set you have. Okay, don't go beyond that. Right, so that is why you will need to do um, inferential statistics. Okay, so the same thing that we want. So let's go to um, let's go to inferential statistics. Okay, so before we do the inferential statistics, you have to start from populations and samples. All right. So remember, inference. If to to make an inference, we talk about taking a sample, doing some estimate. All right, then using that value to. Uh, do inference or infer that the population is likely to have that value you go ahead and do some tests to to ascertain whatever uh, you, you are saying okay so gathering all data is not always possible due to barriers such as time you may not need time you, you may not get a time to cover the whole population assuming there are five thousand people like the community example i gave accessibility probably there are poor roads you can't go there 
weather conditions, so many things. You don't even have vehicle, you don't have the resources, persons to go, all right. And then the cost involved, you cannot do um, questionnaires for all of them and staff, all right. You can't employ people to go around and take data, so you might not be able to gather all the people, okay. Instead of that, we often gather information from smaller subsets of the population known as the sample. Okay, so we see population, the entire set of possible observation in which we are interested. So, like the community example, you come into the community, the community is the whole population. You are interested in the population because you want to do a business here, right? But you can't take all of them. So, you take a subset, sample, a subset of population from which information is actually collected okay so even though you are interested in the population but you don't collect data on the, on the entire population but the sample you pick is where you collect your data okay so inferential studies this is a collection of methods for using sample data to make conclusions about the population so this is just simple okay there's a population you pick a sample you, you do something you get a statistic about a sample and, and then you use that to infer you go back and say that okay per the sample i can say that the average salary of people in the community is that that is inferential statistics for descriptive statistics you are just computing the values to explain the sample and stuff so the sample has a mean of that but you can you are not saying that the average you are not using that mean to infer telling me that the whole population is having a mean of that the whole population is having a, a, a mode of that or median of that okay but for inferential statistics that's what you do you get some something about a sample and use that to infer on the population okay all right so that's a simple diagram showing what so there is a sampling you take a sample all right and then you do the inference you infer on the population all right so this is a typical population there are a lot of um, tv channels watch in estonia okay so you might not uh, have to look at all the tv channels in estonia but you pick a sample and then uh, you work you work on them probably look at looking at the daily shares and stuff you must take a sample right so there is uh, two kinds of samples you can pick a complete sample right is a set of objects from a parent population that includes all such objects that satisfy the set of well-defined selection criteria so look at this example a complete sample of australian men taller than two meter or two meters would consist of all of list of every australian male taller than two meters but it wouldn't include German males or those who are few uh, females or people who are shorter than that. So you you define your criteria is that you want men from Australia that are taller than two meters. So it means you take for a complete sample you pick all of all those people, all those people you pick every Australian man, anyone, all the men in that uh, in that. Uh, country you pick all of them you, sh you should know that they meet the criteria that is all of them are two meters okay so the there's another version unbiased representative sample so it's a set of objects chosen from a complete sample okay so here is like yeah you are define you've defined your criteria for whatever you want like the, the example we said two meters so you pick all the men who are two meters okay in that case you would go in and take a sample that would be representative that would look like the whole population is that not it? Uh -huh. so the best thing to do is to use um, a probability sampling method a probability sampling method to pick the sample in that case you get a very well representative sample and that sample will be on by us on by us in the sense that it will represent the population okay or whatever wherever you pick the sample right okay so random sample the best way to avoid a bias or all representative sample is to select a random sample 
write a random sample. 